Welcome to this short clip on shortcuts in Excel. The reason that you want to do this is that if you have a large document, and if you want to navigate around the document, you can either scroll, of course, or you can select certain cells and drag them across and everything. But for very large documents with lots of rows and or lots of columns, that will get very inefficient and takes a lot of time. And it's actually not that accurate in many cases either. So to move around um, a document or a table, you will need a combination of the control or command key and the arrow keys. So suppose you're in A1 and you want to move to A7, you hold the command key on Mac and the control key on Windows, press, hold, and then press the arrow button down. So you move down that column. And if you have inserted um, a table or if you have data in that area, it will always jump to the end of that data set rather than the end of the document or the end of the table. Uh, so if I had no information in here and I moved up again to A1, then press and hold command or control and the arrow key down, it will jump to the last piece of information. So let's undo that. Um, to move across, similar principle, command or control, press, hold, and use the right key. And to go back, of course, command, press, hold, and use the arrow key to the left. So that will save you a lot of time in large documents. Um, so if I was outside that table and press, hold, uh, command, and then the downward arrow, I would get to the very, very bottom of the document. And that's over 1 million rows that I've just jumped um, with a shortcut. And of course, to go back, command or control, press, hold, and go up. So it goes to the um, next piece or the next cell that has information in it. And sometimes you also want to select data. And one way that we've already covered is that if you press on the column or row identifier, so to select column A, I can press on A. And to select row two, I can press on the two row. The problem perhaps with that um, is that it selects the entire row. And sometimes you may only want to select the information that is contained in the row um, in your table, right? Uh, so in a small document, obviously you can uh, click on the cell and then drag down. That would select uh, that content or similarly for rows, you can just uh, move it across. But again, for larger cells, it, this may not be very feasible. So what you can do is um, if you're on A1 and you want to select the contents of column one in that table, in that data set, you press command or control plus the shift button and then the downward arrow. Okay, so again, A1, press command, shift and the downward arrow. Similarly for rows, if you wanted to select the data from row three, hit command, shift, and the arrow across. Or for four, command, shift, across. And that would select um, the data and just the data that you want. If you press the arrow button once more, that would select the entire row as before. One thing perhaps that's a bit more advanced, but you can play around with that is command shift across and hold it. Now release the command key, but keep the shift key pressed and press the arrow key downwards. So you can select multiple rows if you wanted to. Okay, um, shortcuts are extremely powerful and we will be using them a lot. So try and get used to them, practice them, and I will point out a few other shortcuts that might come in handy. Bye.